could you do it? How could you cheat on me and with a lonely pool boy, no less? Whatever happened to the sanctity of marriage? Not now. <laughs> I do allow you to express your feelings. <laughs> yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. How could she do this to me? I, mean, I loved her. I cared for her. We finished each other's sentences. Do you know how hard that is? <laughs> yes. You'll work it out, sir. Kaiser, I'm really worried. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. If I lose her, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I should come back. Oh, man, I remember when I was your age. I was so happy. Man, I had the world on a string. I was so high on life, I could walk into walls, not feel a thing. Of course, it might have been all the marijuana I was sucking down. <laughs> you smoked pot? Oh, yeah. You never know looking at me now, though, huh? I remember when I was your age. I was so happy. And I had the world on a string. I was so high on life, I was walking the wall. Wow. I've never seen Tim so vulnerable. Yeah, it's a real shame when bad things happen to good people. Maybe we should do something. You're absolutely right. Hal, hit the speaker. <laughs> Dude, what are you guys doing? That man is obviously hurting. You know, he was just opening up to me. <laughs> Matt, he was only talking to you because you were there. It could have been anyone. Hell, it could have been anything. Matt, this isn't exactly virgin territory. Why? What have you heard? What? <laughs> This is Tim's fourth wife and about his 20th separation. Every time this happens, he tries to fill the void by latching onto somebody. Well, what's wrong with that? He's a petty, vindictive, small, evil man. And I don't really need the competition. <laughs> All we're saying is that when Tim comes out here, and he will, and asks us if we're doing anything tonight, we better have our excuses ready. What are you going to say, Matt? I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll just tell him I'm, I'm going to the movies. Movies? Uh, that's too vague. And what time does the picture start? Eight-ish. Ish? No, you can't say ish. Ish makes you vulnerable. Ish is not your friend. <laughs> you have to make it specific. And the art of successful lying is paying attention to the details. Tell me your mom is in town. And she's having an angioplasty in room 583 at County General, and you're the only one who can sign the release form. <laughs> hey, guys. You know, I just had a thought. I'm not doing anything tonight. Maybe you guys want to hang out. How? Can't. Opera. La Boheme. Third row center. Delaney? I'm taking my sister to the airport. 8.15 flight. Wind out of the south at 10 knots. She'll be able to take off. <laughs> Abby? Hosting a quilting bee at my house. Jimmy? Can't. Um, my mom's having an angioplasty in room 583 at County General, and I'm the only one that can sign the release forms. <laughs> what about you? Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to the movies. Oh, really? What time? But. Eight-ish. Oh. Eight-ish? We can move that around. Oh, I, I don't know. Oh, come on, Matt. It'll be fun. We can go to my club. No, I don't think I'd fit in there, sir. Oh, no, no, nonsense. It's not one of those exclusive clubs. It's open to anyone. Come on, what do you say? I can use the company. <laughs> sure. Okay. Oh, great. Let's go now. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good time. Bye, Bye Matt. <laughs> your mother gets better, we're gonna have to have a talk. <laughs> It's pretty nice. <laughs> you bet your ass it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, sir, it's a little extravagant, but uh, I've worked damn hard for this luxury. I've earned it. So when did you become a member? Oh, my grandfather founded this place. I've been coming here since I was a baby. <laughs> There's our African-American member I was telling you about. See him? Yeah, I see him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
Three quarters African American. What's the other quarter? Jewish. Man's a walking target. <laughs> yeah, careful, you'll uh, bruise the cognac. If you bruise it, you'll suffocate. Oh, God, I miss my wife. <laughs> You'll work it out, sir. Oh, it's not just that. It, uh, it's everything. Like what? I've been working at Upton Weber for 11 years now, Pizer, and I started to ask myself whether it's all worth it. Toiling away five, six hours a day, three, four days a week, 30, 31 weeks a year. Have you ever considered working part-time? <laughs> I have this fear that one day they're gonna realize, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. They're gonna call me out for the fraud that I am. Oh, no, that day's a long way off. <laughs> I mean, you're not a fraud. You deserve to be the boss. You're a good guy. Huh, go on. No, I'm serious. Yeah, so am I. Go on. <laughs> hey, how was the country club? You know, it could have been a lot worse. Tim's not such a bad guy once he lets his guard down. Uh, Houston, we have lip-to-ass contact. I'm not kissing ass, Delaney. Tim needed somebody and I was there. So when Tim needs you tonight, you'd be willing to give up your Friday night for him? Well, tonight I can't. My ex-girlfriend's passing through town, so I'll be with her. Ah, the ex-girlfriend. Excuse. The granddaddy of them all. Now you're learning. Oh, but I'm a big boy. I can make my own decisions. Now, I wasn't going to tell you guys this, but Tim asked me to be his friend, and I said yes. <laughs> be careful, Matt. No matter how friendly you think you and Tim are, he's still your boss. And rule number one, you can't be friends with your boss. Well, at least I'm making an attempt. I'll take that any day over you and your ridiculous, detailed excuses. So, which one of you guys is keeping me company tonight? Can't. I have my self-defense class. My sister's plane went down in the Rockies. I'll be sitting at home waiting for word from the search party, which is being led by a guy named Kip. <laughs>